Hello, I'm Ron Baker. Welcome back to Nurturing Solutions for Seekers. I got so much wonderful response from the episode that I did on releasing tension from the neck and shoulders, where I talked about neck stretches and how to breathe through that, that I thought I would add another important layer to resolving energetic stress and pain. This time, it's headaches, even migraines. A lot of people on the planet suffer unnecessarily from constant headaches and migraines. Now, there are a number of reasons why people manifest this pain. However, we're just going to keep it simple since I have five minutes to help you out here. The bottom line is, we have had so little education on the planet about energy and the movement of energy in our bodies. It is so important that we learn how to create greater flow. One of the simple ways we can do it is with deep, proactive breathing. I've covered that in a couple of different ways in past episodes. We can also move energy with sound, and we can move energy with physical movements like stretching and massage. What happens most often is that we go into stress here in the neck. This is where we have the limbic brain, and so when things feel threatening or challenged to us emotionally, it signals for a grip here in the limbic brain. When this closes off and we want to find ways of controlling, we tend to grip that much more in the back here. It traps energy from flowing through the head and back down through our bodies. It moves up the spine and then wants to go back down in the body. For many different reasons, people don't tend to send energy back down. One of those reasons is because we become gripped here in the neck. So if you'll practice the neck stretches that I've already covered, and now we begin to add the movement of physical massage to this equation, it will help in tremendous ways to relieve pressure. Please, don't wait until it builds up into a migraine. Go ahead when you begin to feel the edges of pressure to do the neck stretches, to do proactive breathing, and to begin massaging your cranium. So the main areas that I'm going to suggest that you massage today are the areas of the temple. This is where a lot of energy builds up. It comes up the spine, goes across the top of the head, builds up here in the front, and this is one of the main areas that we get pain, and then it moves down into the sinuses. If you keep this massaged, when it's just, well, ideally, it would be proactive massage so that you keep everything moving. But at least when you feel the beginnings of pressure, go ahead and massage then. Because if you let it build up until it's already painful, to press on it is going to seem like it's hurting worse. I promise you, it's because you're merely beginning to open up and move the energy. So take your two fingers and begin doing circles all the way around this area. I like to also go back and forth like this. Anything that encourages movement out of this area so all the way around the temples on both sides. It also helps if you breathe. So, as you massage the temples on both sides, 
and then massage across the sides of your head in this kind of an arc. Massage all the way through there in addition to your neck stretches and I guarantee you this will help to relieve the pressure of your headaches. It might hurt slightly worse when you're pressing on it, but that's because the energy bubble has built up and you're adding a little bit more pressure, but you're pushing the energy out of that area so it can disperse, and eventually we'll talk about how to bring it down in the body again. So stress, anxiety, grip, are all going to build up energy in the head. So is constant thinking, going over and over and over, constant chatter in your head, is going to build up a lot of energy focus there. I guarantee that most of the people who end up with migraines are major head chatter people. Nothing bad and wrong it's just a habit that ends up bringing too much energy and focus without taking the time to relax, breathe, and bring it back down in the body. So your encouragement, even if you're not someone who gets headaches and migraines often, you will benefit from massaging this part of the body and the head and do it all of these things create flow and health and vitality. Simple solutions if you take the time to invest in yourself. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know below. I am answering all of those comments, at least at this point. I encourage a deeper conversation so that I know what you need and I know how to help you further. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.